Hello, Epsom Enthusiast here. FMF quiet insert for the FMF Q4 pipe. Gonna have a go at swapping it over today. The diameter, as you can see, is slightly different, so it should quieten the pipe down. Gonna have a go at fitting it. I've got my spanners out. Eight mil spanner into the back of the exhaust. It is a bit fiddly. Now I'm not sure how much of a difference this is going to make to the exhaust. I personally find the Q4 quite loud. I haven't got the Mega Bomb or the Power Bomb. I've just got the Q4 FMF rear pipe, the stock header, as you can see, and um, I've also got a K&N filter. So hopefully this will quieten it down. Still taking a while to loosen off. My video editing skills aren't great, so it might be a bit longer than anticipated. I'll try and stop this and come back once I've got it out. The bolt out it did take a little bit of um, squeezing about. It wasn't too bad. I'm just going to fire her up so you can hear what she's like. It might be a bit echoey because it's in my garage. That's with the standard insert. Now I got my fingers in here and give it a real good jiggle about to get it out. There we go. There we, there we go, as you can see, that's the existing spark arrestor out. Open up this one. It came with a little bolt. I actually got this off of eBay, it was about £45. You compare them next to each other, see the diameter difference. This one's larger, which obviously could make the sound a bit larger. So I will put some silicon around this. I just want to see. That does fit in nicely. Let's see if this bolt they supply is going to fit in. It's hard to tell when the holes are lined up. If not, I might have to drill the hole a bit larger. One thing you don't want to do is Get the um Okay, so that's going through all right. That goes through the hole all right. So I'm gonna get some got some high intensity. Oh here it is, look. This is for exhaust manifolds and engines, it's high temperature, so it should be okay. So I'm gonna grease this up and I'll get back to you down to my workshop I've found that the screw that's supplied doesn't quite marry up with the hole in the uh, exhaust so I'm just going to very gently drill the hole slightly larger see if that makes any difference Now I'm only going to do a little bit at a time, just in case, so we'll go back and see if that's any good. Right, okay, so I have been away and I've been fiddling around with this, it's an absolute pig. The hole where the bolt goes, I've got it in there now as you can hopefully see. What I found, I had to get a 10 mm um, metal drilling bit, which I know is ridiculous, but I had to make the hole even bigger, up to 10 mil. And then I lifted this indicator up, got an Allen key, poked it down inside the hole until the hole's married up. You can almost see it. Then I've just put the screw in now to bite. So get my eight mil spanner out and uh, tighten her up. I'm excited to um, wait and see how he's gonna sound. So you're better off drilling a 9mm hole rather than 10mm because 9 was a bit big. Here we go. I think that is a little bit quiet. 
quieter, hard to tell in the garage, but I will do another video with a before and after when it's out in the driveway. Enjoy. <laughs> 